Hello everyone, I'm Lisa Lind, I've just flown in. And today we are back with more Seduce Me to the Demon War. Last time we ran one of Diana's paths, and today we're going to dive back into that pool and see what other outcomes there are. Because after having done a little bit of research, yeah, she has a few endings you can get. Uh, with that said, I will be using the skip button as there's going to be a lot of the same material we saw last time. So if this is the first video in the series you've stumbled upon, I do recommend going back and watching the first video. If you're interested at all in, you know, what is the text that I'm skipping over. And with that said, let us get into it, shall we? Please. Hold on there! Before we I... start the game, I need to ask you a few things. Don't want you getting lost now. I don't want you to. I want. I have things to do. Like the skip button. First of all, have you read the first? Yes. Oh, okay. Us? You do know this is Diana's re- Yep. Oh, awesome. Oh. Anyway, I have one last question for you. Trigger warnings. Anyway, I have one last question for you. Some people like hearing the trigger warnings before they start games, while others don't really care and just want to play. It's cool either way, but do you want to know about some of the content listed in the game? Yeah, I don't think I did this last time, so... Sure, thanks! No problem, it's my pleasure. Well, cool. this game is recommended for players ages 18 and up. Trigger exactly. warnings include suicide, war, torture, mentions of rape, and a large amount of violence and sexual content. Yeah, it's like when I click that button on YouTube that says my channel's not for kids. I mean, it's not for kids, and you probably shouldn't be watching this. Don't worry though, any sex scene choice you encounter is okay. completely up to you. You can play this game without needing to go through the sex scenes and still get the good endings. Consent is important. Yeah, some people need to learn that. I think that should be everything. All right. Phew, that took a while. Sure. What's my character's name? My character is still going to be called Mika. Here we go into the demon world. Hello, Sadio. Okay, the or her family is dead. Room of blood. Anger. She, understandably, Diane is very pissed, but what should we do about that? You know what? Uh, I I'm going to stop you, sweetie, because you're kind of being cuckoo. Yeah, can't let anger control you right now, love. And that's the skip button. Here we are in our bedroom. Here's Serio again. You know what? I'm just gonna let him continue talking. Sadio was just giving Diane his energy. There was nothing wrong with that. Well, um... Kinda. Why would I get upset over it? I wouldn't. <laughs> oh, you're so gonna get upset over it. Besides, Diana needed energy to recover from her explosion of energy and from her quenching the fires on the castle. She used a lot of energy. Very pragmatic. Diana smiled at Sadio and softly pulled her hand away from him, making him look up at her, not in surprise, but with a smile of his own. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Now get out, please. It is my duty to serve you, my lady. Aww. You know, if, if I weren't dating her, I would be championing you two crazy kids. Sadio stood and stepped back, looking to his mistress and to me. Do we plan to retaliate, my lady? Okay, skip buttons back. And the crazy dream sequence, and I has nightmare, and I'm going to tell her about it. Because, quite frankly, it's creepy as fuck. And we've seen this before. She does a mind reading, the next day we battle, and she is getting kissies so she can have some more energy before she goes and fights her good fight, because she's awesome. And now we're going to start skipping forward again. 
new demon. Do we want this contract? Yes, we want this contract. You should go for it, sweetie. I think we did this last time, so skip, skip, skip. To accept this role is a great honor for her. Sarah's voice was very audible over the sound of drums and chants in the to air. To accept this role is a great honor for her. Exactly. Really? Why? I felt my curiosity surface at his statement. Was this dance truly an honor? This was meant to honor the death of thousands of brute demons. How was this an honor? Uh... Wow, okay. You're paying tribute to the Fallen and, and trying to gain a new ally by showing you understand and respect their culture. I get Mika's young, but she's not... Last game they made a point of she's young, but she's not stupid. Brute demons are extremely devoted to proper ceremony and homage. Because exactly. of this, the role of Rage Dancer is often given to the most powerful and the most honorable brute demon in the tribe where they perform Aww. ascending. That's cool. And I'm really happy they see that as Diana. But Diana is not a brute demon. Why not have the brute demon himself perform it? Because the brute demon recognizes her strength. He knows how powerful she is, so he asked her to perform it in his stead. Aww. Cool. Again, I like this. It does show a level of respect for her. <laughs> a small laugh escapes Stadio's lips, causing me to glance over slightly before returning to watch the dance. What's so funny? I apologize. Imagining that brute demon dance is rather humorous to think about. Well, I mean, now that you point it out... As the thought popped into my head, I couldn't help but giggle a bit as well. Sario and I shared a laugh before letting it die quietly so we could continue to watch Diana, the true dancer of the evening. I love her. Okay. Close door, bro. That stopped my thoughts. I looked over at Sario, seeing his gaze still plastered towards Diana. His expression was cool and like stone. Serious in what he had said and meant, he loved her? I've loved her ever since we were children. Uh -huh. I've been by her side through everything, and she's given meaning to my life. I would give my life for her if she demanded it. And yet you kind of let her family die on your watch. Just saying. At last, Sergio looked to me, a small fire burning his eyes through his gaze. I could see the devotion and truth in his soul, knowing how deeply he cared for Diana. What say you to that? Mm, what can I say to that? Hmm. You know what? I love her too. So we have that in common, right? Sario was serious about his affections. So was I. And we're back to Skippy time. Yay! I know you've been with her for a very long time. But you know what? But she's important to me. Sario needed to see her importance to me. I desperately loved her and wanted to be with her. That was why I came in the first place. I wouldn't let Sario's love for her sway my feelings for her. I was given silence as Sario's reply. And we're back to skip buttons as my girlfriend keeps dancing because she's awesome. And now we're in our room. And Dan, it's all right. But I love you, sweetie. You're doing your best here. Okay, we've had this reaction before. More skippy time. They were going to kiss her because, eh, why not? I couldn't take it anymore. I needed to kiss her. Aww. Yay. And Skippy time, and then being led away by Sadio so we can, you know, have a chat, because that's important. This at all shouldn't be scary. We're fine. 
and he's confessed his feelings, I've confessed my feelings, and you know what? I know you love her too. I mean, you've made it crystal frickin' clear by this point. I didn't want us to fight over this like children. Yes, I loved her, but so did he. Who was I to push him away? The main character, the significant other, the girlfriend? After all, he had served her his entire life. True, I guess. Sadio stared hard at me, taking what I was saying before raising a spear pointing it at me. You truly love her? Yes. I do. I'm sorry if that upsets you. A moment passed. What would Sadio do? I prayed that he wouldn't strike me down. I hoped that he was willing to listen and compromise. A small chuckle escaped Sadio's lips, causing me to look at him in confusion. His face painted his concern and his strange thoughts on this almost humorous situation. As he lowered his spear, he shook his head. It doesn't upset me. I just want Azair to be happy. Me too. So how do we make this work? As do I. Serio locked eyes with me, gazing into my soul to judge my words for their truth. I was being honest and, truly, to know that both of us cared about and loved Diana was amazing to fathom. Not really, she's freaking awesome. Eventually, Serio smiled slightly. Then, maybe it's best that we both try to make her happy. Go on. How do you see this compromise working? I smiled and nodded, happy to know that he understood. This wasn't a contest, nor was this something to fight about. If we both loved her, then the best thing to do was to both shower her in love. We felt she deserved. Okay, this is an interesting concept in, you know, the whole incubus succubus thing and feeding on energy, especially carnal energy. Having more than one person to, for lack of better word, draw from or have on tap might actually be to her benefit. Also, I'm just saying, I think, I think could handle more than one person. What is going on? Uh, hey, sweetie. We're just talking about you. Damn it. <laughs> Serio and I completely looked at the direction of Diana's voice, seeing her completely red in the face in anger. As she walked forward, Serio bowed his head in submission. My lady, I... I asked Sarah if we could talk in private. Diana stopped walking and stared at me with the most confused look I had ever seen. I giggled a bit before stepping to her and taking her hand. We need to chat about a little something-something. About you, of course. About me? Yeah, it's usually about you. I nodded with a grin before walking over to Serio and placing a hand on his shoulder, making him look up at me. I lowered my hand and offered it to him, helping him stand up before continuing. We both are in love with you, Diana. The look on Diana's face was both hilarious and adorable, and I kind of wish we could see that in, reflected in the artwork, because that's just kind of her standard expression. Her face turned completely red as she darted her eyes back and forth between the both of us. I... 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 um... Yeah, this is hella awkward. Isaiah. Just hear us out, sweetie. Sadio took a step forward and took one of Diana's hands, as I did the same with her free hand. Diana looked back and forth between us, now completely in shock and uncertainty. Sadio and I couldn't stop the smiles on our faces at the sight. We love you and want you to be happy. Exactly. If it takes both of us to do it, then we will happily do everything we can to ensure that happiness. My heart felt like I had made the right choice. Serio loved her, and so did I. There was no need to lay claim onto her when she was deserving of ultimate love. If it was something we could both provide, then it was well worth sharing. Provided all parties are okay with it, I have no problem with this ending. 
as someone that tends to more skew toward monogamy, I personally would not be comfortable, but this first, this Mika, she's okay with it. She wants what's best for Diana. And right now, that's probably more than one person that will love her and put her above everyone else. Diana's eyes began to water as she looked down and tried to catch her breath. Before Stadio and I could worry, however, she softly chuckled. You both are such fools. I know, right? That's why you love us. For a moment, Stadio and I became the ones confused. But as Diana looked back up at us with a happy smile and soft tears running down her cheeks. I don't deserve either of you, let alone both of you. Oh, I, I, I call shenanigans on that. You have sacrificed quite a bit to keep your kingdom safe and your people happy. If this can bring you any small measure of peace, I feel this is the very least we can do. That's where you're wrong, Easier. I stepped forward and softly kissed Anne on the lips, making her gasp and stare at me wide-eyed. As I pulled away, I grinned. You deserve all the happiness in the world. Serio stepped forward and placed a kiss of his own on Diana's lips, causing another gasp to erupt from her and make the blush on her face deepen. And we would be honored to grant you that happiness. And I really wish the art would reflect that. Like, it wouldn't be that hard to... Still use this art, but just put the blush on her face. Diana couldn't help sobbing, covering her face with her hands. Sario and I quickly rushed to her sides, embracing her and sandwiching her between our bodies. We didn't want to upset her. Her body shuddered between ours before she took in a couple of deep breaths, trying to calm down. Sario and I, however, began to pepper kisses along her hands and cheeks, wanting to comfort her. It was hard to believe that we agreed on something. But Sarah and I both wanted the best for Diana, and both of our hearts wanted to be with her. As long as we were open about it, we would be okay. And yeah, that's a very big thing. Communication. And now we're back to content we've already seen. We were completely happy. The energy that sparked within Diana completely filled her with power, giving her the strength to completely annihilate the Demon Lord's army. And we saw that last time, so let's just skip over it till we get to new content, shall we? Serio smiled as well, taking her other hand and making her look over at him. That you will, and we will support you until the very end. Exactly, our queen. Diana's face completely turned beet red as Sadio and I smirked at each other. We quickly leaned in and kissed both of Diana's cheeks simultaneously, causing her to gasp and straighten up like an arrow. During the time before the siege, Sadio and I managed to work out our differences and found ways to double-team against Diana whenever she was feisty, stressed, or needed care. I had to admit, we were both the perfect duo. Diana shook her head violently and glared at both of us before pressing a kiss onto each of our lips, causing us to shut up the laughter we had released upon seeing her blush. And now we're back to what we've seen, Diana being a badass. Go kick their butt, sweetie. The day after, she <clears throat> became queen of the demon world. As she it deserves. It definitely shocked her, and it took her a while to get used to being called your highness by the other demons. Yeah. But you helped her through it. Because I'm awesome. Well, you and Saro, anyway. Exactly. Both of you pretty much became her anchors and support the entire time through her coronation and beginning yep. to rule the world. Exactly. And I cannot think of a better ruler. Saro, being told of the deal she made with you convinced you to stay in the demon world with them so that Aww. you'd be with her for the rest of your life. Though... I didn't think it was hard to convince you. Nope. Was I mean, I I already, you know, I was down for this plan. You love the dickens out of her. Come on. Exactly, Kay. Exactly. 
Still, from what I hear at least, the three of you live happily ever after. Aww, go us. Huh? You don't believe me? Alright, check it out for yourself. Cool, thanks. Game? Hello? The demon world finally knew peace. It was a grand moment, the sounds of millions cheers echoing and burning themselves into the memory and celebration for the end of the war. Dan had finally destroyed the demon lord, and soon enough we would watch her become the matriarch of the Abyssal Plains, uniting the entire world under her rule. It was almost too unreal to experience and see as a human. However, I was happy for Diana, and I was proud to stand beside her and support her through it all. The war was an experience and a half, and I would never forget it for as long as I lived. As for me, I found myself drawn to Diana, hoping to spend every night with her in my arms. The human world became faintly drifting memory as my life embedded itself into the demon world. Many demons questioned me, but Serio and Diana defended me with every conflict that came. Aww, yay trouble! However, there was never a day that went by that I didn't wonder. Did I make the right choice? It was a heavy chapter of my life. One that tested the love between me and Diana. My heart seemed to remind me that I had come to the demon world to help Diana, and now it was time for her to honor her end of the deal. She had to teach me everything about the five worlds and about magic. As a queen, that was impossible now. Why? Why could she not just set you up with a tutor or... If she's queen, you know, go visit the different lands in the Abyssal Realm. This does not feel impossible with what her title is. If anything, her title, I think, would make it easier. It might not be the one-on-one -on -one tutorship she had hoped for, but you would still get the education. To my surprise, I didn't seem to mind. I mind? I want the education, damn it! I had been given the experience of a lifetime, and I easily accepted it as a promise fulfilled. The faint memory of my own power slightly tingled through me every time I grew confident, eagerly reminding me that I had strength of my own. Even though these last two playthroughs, I was not allowed to show any of it. I was, I was kind of on the sidelines for everything. I would never let anyone come between me and Diana ever again. The thoughts of it all echoed in my mind as I laid in bed, looking up at the ceiling with a wide smile on my face. Despite the dangers being real, the war was an adventure fun to look back upon in my memories. I took in a breath and let out a sigh, leaning back against the arm beneath my head and closing my eyes. I was at peace, and everything was all right. Are you okay, dear? Aww, that's so cute. Oh, look at us, all cuddles. I opened my eyes at the sound of my pet name, looking up to see Diana smiling down at me. I could only giggle and cuddle into her embrace. He was just thinking about us. And him. Who are you now? What about us? Hmm. With a smile, I nuzzled Diana's chest softly and closed my eyes, listening to her steady and loving heartbeat. How thankful I am to be here with you. Diana stared down at me, gently hugging me to her. I could feel her own joy at the situation resonate from her embrace and her kiss over my head. Sari only chuckled as he laid on her other side, listening to us speak to each other. Sari and I had gotten over our differences, and I was positive that we would be perfect together taking care of our demon queen. We both adored Diana and found each other both equally held close to each side of her body every morning. Well, good thing Diana can sleep on her back. Also, you know that her demon wings aren't permanent. I have to imagine that would make sleeping on your back quite uncomfortable. I am thankful that you're here too. Both of you. Aww. You have done so much for me. I try. And I will cherish you forevermore. Aww. That's so sweet. And that's what I like about Diana, despite all of her harsh 
Well, all of her perceived harshness and straightforwardness, there is this deeply caring, loving person under it. Yes, she's driven, sometimes to the point of ruthlessness, but it's usually where there's a reason behind it. It's also great seeing she gets to have these moments of calm. I believed every word. I let her words embed themselves into my heart. I remember them forever. As Diana hugged Sari and I to her, the three of us let a simultaneous sigh of contentment. I would love her and continue to hold her close for the rest of my life. Nothing would be able to tear me away from her any longer. And that was my perfect happily ever after. Aww. And I am thankful for you and you. See. And that was one more of Diana's paths. I think there's one more to do, but that's going to be next time. So, until next, attack the Katilak Hiddo. Achievement unlocked. I am thankful for you and you.